Welcome back to more Final Fantasy X, everyone. So last time, we finally made it to the whole same series, kind of like the whole, uh, you know, final part of the game. Uh, yeah, because the cutscenes took way too long and whatever, I thought I was gonna have to, uh, you know, not to make an outro and intro, but I actually can, because the battle happened pretty much at perfect timing. But yeah, it's kind of nice that, you know, that we're finally gonna go ahead and, uh, just, uh, <laughs> go on to the final sequences of the game and not actually pure side quests. Anyway, as you can see, we are super fast, we have a lot of agility, the boss barely gets any attacks, and so... You have a couple things you can do here. Obviously, it's far away, so you can't attack. If you try to see if it's out of range, you can't do it. But you can tell Siv to move in, if you really want to. And do that. So, I guess I'll do that. Okay, there we go. In the meantime, Titus can't really do much except maybe get a haste or something. Actually, I kind of don't want to do that because that's going to just further delay. Dude. I, I don't want to do that, actually. Because I want to move in. I don't think Black Magic with Titus and Yuna, or sorry, Titus and Rico is going to help that much. I could try it, though. Let's try a Flare. Hmm. 9344. Basically, the left fin and the right fin each have, um... Let me take a look, 65,000 HP. Yeah, so, a huge amount, but I think with you and I can just do it. I don't really have to move in, actually. I can just use Holy, and I'm pretty sure with two Holies, it'll go down. Let's take a look. Yeah, 67,000, that's an overkill right there. Here goes, everyone! Hold on to something! Here we go! Okay, that's cool. A lot of nice experience. Got it! Couldn't have done it without you! Okay, so the battle is fought pretty much in an identical matter compared to the other arm, you know, or, yeah, so, or fin, I should say, not arm. So if you're just gonna go out and use a special, let's use, um, let's use cheer, sure, why not, right? Why not? It's so funny watching Riku cast magic, because she just moves with her little index finger. It was like, oh yeah, I'm so cool, I don't know what the hell that is, but whatever, so let's get a holy with unit, and that's also going to be a one-shot kill for the most part. There we go, 67,000 once again. And that battle is done, two overkills in a row. Okay, Titus actually did not even take a command in there. I should have probably waited and, you know, have him take a move, but oh well. So I got two level 3 key spheres and a soft bracer as well, not bad. Blitzer knows. When you got the ball, you gotta score! A day with you is never dull. Hey! Star players first!
okay, so this time we are fighting another boss, but it is composed of two different bosses. Sin's Core and Sin's Fun Janai. Or Janai, but I think it's Janai. The S should be silent. So, the Sinspun Jedi is actually pretty similar to Sinspun Genua from the very beginning of the game in Kilika. It looks pretty similar, and I mean, it's, you know, sort of is. So, um, I think what I'll do first is go ahead and get a mug. Now, it's not going to be too difficult. Now, let's see here. Yeah, because there's Sin and Sinspun Jedi. So, I'm going to go ahead and use a mug. I don't know what you have, but we'll see. There's a mug, and you're dead in one shot, Sinspun Jedi. That's the whole downside to, you know, overgrinding so you can kill the super bosses of the game, you know, that's, uh, always pretty sad, but, oh well. Because <laughs> now it just takes off the thrill for some of these bosses here in the end of the game, but at least the cutscenes are still there, you know, and you can enjoy that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and, is that out of attack range? Oh, I killed you. That's an overkill. Yeah, look at that. Now you know they're not getting any experience. Although, um, the, the cutscenes are pretty cool. I'm enjoying the cutscenes a lot, just watching all these things, you know? And then we always get these nice breaks in between each battle. Two Return Spheres, two MP Spheres, Halberd, and a Largament. Largament. Riku, Aklamad! It's going to come back, isn't it? I know. What? You're kidding me! No, we have to beat the guy inside, Sin! The Crusaders would be out of a job if it was this easy, huh? But it has weakened, I'm sure of it. I'll do what I can with the main gun. Okay, let's go around talking to everybody now. Man, we must have hit that thing enough by now. Oh, I can't talk to you? Okay, I guess I can't. Let me talk to Riku then. Pops Machina always seem to break when you need them most. I think it's a little early to start celebrating. This isn't over. Not yet. Sin still lives. Kimari knows. May I help you? Nope, Thank I'm good. You. Yep. I'm good, Rin. So, I don't know where Yuna is. Is she going way back again? She probably did. To that same place as always, you know? She's actually not here, though. Is she at the top? She probably is at the top. I wonder if Sir Jack is in pain. Let's just end this. Quickly. The Faith said they'd help us, right? It bothers me, the way they said that. Huh? 
I mean, they've been fighting alongside us this whole time, but now they say they'll help? I guess so. Wait. Sin is reborn when Yu Yevon merges with an Aeon. Isn't that right? If I summon an Aeon, Yu Yevon will join with it. But at first, it'll be small, won't it? Yeah. Then we might be able to beat it without the final summoning. I don't know. What if Yu Yevon jumps again? Then we'll take it down again. We'll fight him until there's no place left to run. Uh. I never thought it would come down to this. Yeah, I know. Hey, the Faith, they're tired of this whole thing too. Let's let them rest. The Faith said it's pointless to keep dreaming. The dream will disappear, he said. did he mean? And what is it that Yu Yevon is summoning from within Sin? The dream of the faith. You won't go away, will you? He's waiting for you. Well, son, the main gun is still busted. We can't give you any cover fire. Hey, just take us in. We'll do the rest. All right. Take us up, flush to the mouth! No mistakes, or I'm gonna tear out that mop you call hair! Uh, trust me, me take you there. Uh, no problem, yeah? Let's get ready to blitz! Let's go, just you and me. Okay, so when Lulu said just you and me, that's another one of those things that uh, it has to do with the affection points between Titus and the other woman. It could either be Riku, or I think it could be Yuna as well. Or I mean, well, really anybody. That, that I don't know. This is strange because only some people. <sighs> I have no idea, honestly. I don't freaking know. But that whole affection thing is—it's a very secretive thing. It's very well hidden, and it's hard to actually know the truth about that. Anyway, let me come down here, go ahead and activate some more strength, of course. And I gotta run back this way. That's all just HP. I don't care about that shit. Let's walk this way. Activate that. And get some defense as well. Look at, let's see, what other spheres have I got in? MP spheres and HP spheres. I'm gonna go ahead and use a, um... Sure. Let's use an MP sphere. Why not, right? Because, I mean, Yuna's pretty much going to max out soon in MP, so there's no point in her doing it. But if it's someone like, you know, like Riku, then okay, I could, you know, keep maxing it out to get some more MP. There we go. 40, 40. She just gained 100 MP just like that. That's, that's insane. Okay, and then uh, for Titus, I'm going to go ahead and keep moving you this way. So all I have left is, what, HP spheres? I have a Lux Sphere still, an HP Sphere. Hmm. Nope. Gotta use the Ability Sphere, though. No point in using HP bonuses, though. Oh, what the hell was that? 
Fun dogs. Okay. And then for you now, I can go ahead and move you. I guess what I can do is use the HP spheres here. Might as well try to buff up those other uh, Aeons some more. Might as well. Okay. And then of course use... There we go. Also, these are 300, not 400. I thought there were 400 bonuses. I guess not. I guess not. Let's use this other level 4 key just for the hell of it, you know? Just for the hell of it. Ultima! You now learned Ultima. Okay, let's move back now. Uh, so let's see. She can move 1, 2, 3. And then I'm gonna move her to... Obviously not back to where that side, but I can move her to the left side. And she can gain some pretty nice stats over there. I guess I'll do that, sure. Let's move her this way. Make her gain some agility. Some MP. And some more HP. That looks a pretty nice buff for uh, Aeon's HP, I must say. Looks like it was. Well, for some of them, at least. Not all of them. It's just very strange how it all works, though, you know? By the whole buffing up HP thing. So, whatever. Okay, that's that. Let's go ahead and do a save. And, uh... Sure, this one over here. Why not? Why not, right? Oh, so where exactly am I supposed to go? I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I think it's this way. It should be this way, right? Okay. I want to be the very... Sorry, I have to sing that every single time I'm here in that, in that place. So this boss right here is known as Overdrive Sin. The boss himself is known to be the boss that has the most HP out of any storyline boss in the entire game, 140,000. Now sure, that's pretty pathetic compared to Omega Weapon and, you know, Dark Alpha, but again that's because we overgrinded for the super bosses, which means that even this boss itself is not too difficult, honestly, it's really not. So oh, let's see. I can go ahead and use them, um, because if I try to attack, it's going to say out of attack range, as you can see. It's not going to work. There's also no trigger commands, apparently. Okay. So I guess I'll just go ahead and do some uh, black magic, maybe. Do some... Actually, no, just go ahead and get a haste gun. Because our main damage dealer is going to be Yuna. Now, if Sin's bar fills up to the top, to the absolute max, you lose automatically. Yes, you lose, people. You lose the match. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Not much I can do, actually. I don't have focus to buff up magic for Yuna, but oh well. Just use cheer. And then you can go ahead and use some white magic, go ahead and use some holy. Let's see how much that does. 66,000, not bad. So if we come, just going to go ahead and defend. So I'm going to try special now. I'm going to go to special and use, um, oh wait, she has, what the hell? Actually, never mind. I'm just going to go to black magic this time and use Ultima. I want to see how much damage Ultima actually does. If Holy did about 66,000, let's see how much more damage Ultima can actually do. Wow, that's actually not even as strong as Holy. What the heck? Um, interesting, interesting. Let's try a black magic, now let's try a uh, special. What the hell? I mean, you have luck. Use luck. There's nothing I can do with Titus and Riku, man. Nothing at all. Uh, just go ahead and keep using luck. And then 
Screw you. Use luck again, sure. Drawn to sin. So yeah, he's not gonna do anything to you until you actually... Also, it's funny how they put the freaking uh, Xanarkand on his... like as a reference or something. It's very strange that that happens, but whatever. Dream Xanarkand, you know? Man, your agility is so slow. Do you see this? I've already used it five times, so I don't think it'll keep stacking, right? Actually, it seems like it is. I don't know why. It's apparently still working. Okay, go ahead and use Holy. Because that does the most damage. It should be the kill right there. There we go, 67,000 damage. And that's the win.